Welcome to a new Savage.js podcast and this time around it's all about the new version 3.2.1 that came out for the Xperia 10, for the Xperia XA2, uh, Xperia X, for the Gemini, Gemini PDA, for the, that's the Xperia X, for the Yola One even. Six years old device and it's still running the newest version of Savage.js that's just simply fantastic I think. Let me prove it to you. So here you can see version 3 to 120. That's the newest version of Safish OS. Also running on the Yola One, so still supported. Uh, great, great support for this kind of thing. But we want to take a look now at the changes in this brand new version. There are some of those changes that you can expect, just like for example a lot of Android uh, support fixes for the Xperia XA2 and the Xperia 10 devices, just like for example uh, audio routing for WhatsApp and other Android apps has been improved, uh, audio volume for WhatsApp and WeChat have been improved, the YouTube app can now simply, if you have a YouTube app, just like for example here New Pipe uh, that you can get on, on F-Droid, which is an Android app store, um, you can now play both video and audio, which didn't work in the past and it was erroring out. Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Now Welcome you can back see to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the It is playing uh, pretty nicely without any issues. So this has been fixed. Very, very good indeed. Uh, then, of course, some other things have been improved. Some small little changes have been made. Just like, for example, uh, the browser uh, now supports showing... Um, yeah, if you have uh, HTTPS connection or not. Uh, you might see it here in the browser's um, bar. There's a little icon that indicates now if you have a secure connection. And if you have a secure connection, you can click on this and it will uh, tell you more information about this connection, like the certificate and the um, one entity that uh, gave out the certificate and you can click on more and then you get more information about this um, secure connection uh, in this case it's google maps and uh, you can get more information about this uh, pretty nice indeed and i think a pretty nice addition to the web browser that you have now the option to see also a bit of um, more security enhanced features and i think this is a good step into the right direction Ayola has been improved already for the xperia 10 uh, the user encryption so the, your whole user folder is encrypted and you can decrypt it or you have to decrypt it's encrypted with Lux, a common um, Linux uh, encryption method for, for, for distributions. And uh, it's good that, um, yeah, it's improved here as well. The camera has been improved. Uh, the new layout of 21 by nine aspect ratio has been uh, has needed some adjustments uh, in the camera application as well. Uh, the camera button, if you have an Xperia XA2 device, it has a dedicated camera button. This camera button, if you long press it, you can open up the camera application. Uh, this long press need, needed to be really, really long to be open up. Now it is a bit of shorter, so you can quickly uh, snap a photo and uh, just like this I snapped a photo of my uh, setup here as you can see um, this is how I'm recording uh, with some additional light so I'm not too uh, dark here in this environment also a new microphone you can tell me in the comments how you like this microphone quality um, I'm testing out a new microphone there will be a video out about this microphone and other stuff as well um, also in English, um, by the way, so if you're interested in this, you can take a look uh, at my channel. Then there's another feature that has been adjusted um, that you can see, really, it's a new UI feature. The new tab um, bar or the new tab mode has been adjusted, so it was basically in the middle in the old version. It was in the middle, lay the lay uh, layout of the different tabs was in the middle, now it's... Um, it looks a bit broken, <laughs> to be honest. It's aligned on the right, but it's not broken. It's intentionally doing uh, this uh, like this uh, to be harmonized with the usual titles that are also located on the right when it comes to uh, pages. Uh, you can tell me in the comments if you like it or not. I don't like it. I personally, it looks a bit broken to me, but you can, of course, um, have a different opinion. 
In terms of connectivity, uh, there has been also some things uh, changed. VPN has been improved a lot and uh, files received over Bluetooth also security fit, fix uh, don't longer s save the privileged group uh, properties of the file itself, which the daemon, the Bluetooth daemon runs in. So uh, they will have normal access rights. Uh, the developer mode has been fixed. One one very very interesting thing is that the developer mode in the in the past, if you go to settings, you can under development option, you can um, development tools, you can enable the developer mode. The developer mode will install the terminal and will allow you SSH access to your device, which is pretty handy, I think. Uh, this was in the past. Um, a bit cumbersome for some people because it requires an internet connection and if you don't have an internet connection or have some problems with us like for example the package kit um, daemon not running or having problems refreshing packages then it's a bit cumbersome because you cannot get the development mode activated this has been now revived revisited <laughs> has been rewritten so that you don't need internet access anymore for enabling the developer a mode and also installing the terminal application and enabling SSH, which is, I think, a very, very important step into the right direction, especially if you're uh, experimenting with different ports and have problems with, with getting internet connection or something like this, can now enable developer mode without internet access. Uh, very nice. Uh, the documents application has been fixed for um, OpenXML, Doc, DocX, ODT files, especially the page numbers that were uh, misaligned or had a num uh, wrong numbering. Have, uh, has been fixed. The email application has uh, now in HTML format can now be forwarded as an attachment, which is also important. In the past, it was not possible to forward HTML only emails, so the HTML format is, is now also forward, forwarded. And some other little fixes uh, gone into this. Uh, the gallery application now has uh, also the option to playback video without th a thumbnail. So if the thumbnail generation fails somehow, you can still uh, start the playback of this video. So there's not a problem uh, when it comes to this. Um, then, especially for the Xperia 10 device, uh, they fixed a lot of uh, ghost uh, um, inputs, I would say. So as you can see here, the Xperia 10 device is a very thin bezel on the on the bottom. And this leads to sometimes, if you hold it like this, if you thumb here, it leads sometimes to ghost um, input, um, uh, yeah, inputs, basically, that you don't want to accidental touches. And uh, yeah, they optimize it now for preventing those accidental touches in the camera application, in the gallery application, and some other applications as well, which is, I think, a very, very good addition to uh, this. Uh, then the home screen itself has been updated as well. There are some fixes uh, with the application launcher blur not updating after changing an ambience, for example, or a SIM card error uh, shown uh, and not working properly on a landscape, um, which will affect, of course, here my Gemini PDA. Uh, by the way, I'm using the Gemini PDA to read you <laughs> all this stuff because there's so many fixes and little changes, not visible changes, but that uh, fix the overall experience of the operating system. That it's very interesting to see what happened. Uh, the legibility of keyboard has been improved in light ambiences, for example, especially where the background elements uh, were a bit too dark. This has been improved now. Uh, localization support for Vietnamese has been added and uh, media playback uh, has now the dynamic detection of supported hardware codecs. This means, for example, that HEVC, so H265, is supported for certain uh, Xperia devices, so you can now play back uh, HEVC videos on your Xperia devices. For example, the Xperia 10 uh, or the XA2 supports this playback. The messages application has been also updated and um, I'm not sure if you can see it, let's go, for example, in one of the messages of my carrier. You can see how it looks like right now. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not messaging too much, so I don't know what has been improved. I think this uh, icon here on the top is an improvement, is something new. Uh, and you can click on this person and then get the, the option to phone him or her which is, I think, a nice addition. So this has been improved. This is nice that they do some uh, little improvements here and there 
and uh, yeah, the responsiveness of the phone um, app has been improved, especially in emergency situations, which is very important. And a lot of security issues have been fixed as well. And uh, some settings have been added. So if you go to settings, you have now a setting, especially on the Xperia 10 device, if you use encryption, you have a setting called, uh, where is it, uh, encryption. And there you can see some uh, basic information about your encryption, just like, for example, how big is the volume? What is the method of encryption that you're using? And yeah, uh, basically a little text that tells you what this, what does this encryption do? Is it a full disk encryption for the whole device? Or just like in this case, it's only the encryption for your home user, for your personal data, but not for the operating system itself, which is not encrypted. So this is interesting to know. It says, things like if it's activated, what type it is, which version number and how big it is. So very important and I see uh, many improvements there in this uh, thing. Um, calendar has been improved. There have been initial works under the hood to support Nextcloud of some sorts directly as an account in accounts under settings. How does this work? How it will work in the future? We'll see. I hope it will be not just a Caldav and Cardaf synchronization, which we already have which is working fine on my devices um, but also file synchronization would be very nice and would be awesome if the notes application the note taking application would be also be able to sync stuff to their own cloud uh, with a appropriate uh, plugin uh, i know there's own notes on, on, on open repos that does the same thing but still it would be a nice to see some things there some other ui improvements um, can be seen here and there, just like for example, the, let me go into uh, one of those and show you the delete option, the timer, that countdown timer looks like this. So you have clearly the option here. It's deleted and you can now say, I want to have it back. So it is a change in philosophy. So instead of having the timer saying, yeah, this will be deleted in five seconds. It says it has been deleted. You have now five seconds to make this change, uh, to undo this change. So it's a kind of philosophy change uh, that is, I think, logical if people come from other operating systems, just like, for example, Android, where this is also a possibility. Just like if I close a tab in Firefox, I have five seconds to say, I want to undo this operation. And yeah, I think uh, it's a good uh, point that Yola uh, included this now in Selfish S to make it yeah, easier for uh, people who switch from Android, for example, to get this um, idea and uh, how this will work. Yeah, uh, then there are some device specific fixes, uh, just like, for example, voice call recording has been fixed on the Xperia 10. This was an issue. And uh, the Gemini PDA, the incorrect um, Wi Fi MAC address. Uh, was fixed so this had a problem with uh, this and lots and lots of other quick fixes have been improved um, and done in this new release there's also a new sdk um, available if you program for selfish OS, the new sdk be aware that this if you program for this uh, with this new sdk applications that you create with this new sdk will only run from version 3 to 1 upwards not downwards comp uh, compatible anymore uh, you have to maybe choose the right version if you want to do this in the sdk you have the option to choose uh, the right versions if you want to also target older versions of selfish OS. yeah this is basically everything i hope you uh, enjoyed this little overview of the new version uh, 3 to 1 i hope the next version will be a big version 3.3 with a new cute update or a new browser engine or something like this uh, so um, i can show you a bit more fancy selfish OS stuff and not talk uh, too much <laughs> about stuff that's uh, changed under the hood but it's also uh, sometimes very interesting for people to see where um, self-address is heading to and what we can expect in the future uh, to happen with the new system that's everything for this uh, little video hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching bye